What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at the last team of the year defender to review today and it is going to be your boy Trent. Now pick this card up for 1.7 million coins. So a very, very expensive quote unquote fullback and you best believe that's not the only position I will obviously be trying him in today. I will try him in a centre mid and a CDM as well. He's got 92 pace, 90 dribbling, 81 shooting, 91 defending, 84 physicals with his 96 passing as well. Now if we are comparing this card to his team of the group stage card we are looking at a plus 9 to pace, a plus 8 to dribbling, a plus 10 to defending, a plus 12 to physicals, a plus 14 to shooting and a plus 8 to passing as well. It's always a good thing to see Trent get a physicality boost because we all know he's not the strongest of players and him even having 74 it should be okay, I guess, because the anchor chem style is obviously going to give him plus 10 to make it 84. Now, I just re reviewed Alfonso Davis. And I said he was the best fullback in this whole game, which is, you know, it's kind of day. He probably is. But I said that before I reviewed Trent. So is Trent going to change my mind? That's the real question. He's a 5 foot 11 player, high medium work rates, 3 star skill moves with a 4 star weak foot. Now the anchor chem style, as I said, is just a way to go. It really is. It gives him the strength that he obviously needs, but it also gives him that jumping ability so he can win those back stick headers. Also boosting the defensive stats and also giving him that little bit of extra pace so he can catch up to the Kylian Mbappe's. So he has got 94 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. Now his shooting ability. As I said, I'm playing this guy centre mid and you best believe I'm going to have a few shots with obviously his 90 long shots and his 97 shot power. He also has 92 attacking positioning, 75 volleys with the 70 finishing as well. Now passing ability, we all know Trent. We all know him. We all know how good he is at, you know, passing a ball. Long passing, short passing, he's obviously going to do it perfectly. So he has got 93 vision, 99 crossing, 94 free kick accuracy, 94 short passing, 98 long passing with the 97 curve as well. Now his dribbling ability was kind of a shock to me because 83 agility, I understand obviously the team of the group stage card didn't have the greatest agility either, but like... <sighs> I feel like it should have been a little bit high, you know. But either way, he's got 83 agility, 83 balance, 93 reactions, 98 ball control, 87 dribbling, and 91 composure. His defensive stats, I'm telling you, boys, it looks insane for a 5 foot 11 player. 98 interceptions, 85 heading accuracy, 95 defensive awareness, 99 standing tackling with the 99 slide tackling, and his physical stats are 89 jumping, 99 stamina, 84 strength with 94 aggression. And when it comes down to links, I've got Desai, Rashford and Mane. Three players that are absolutely insane in this game. I will be playing Trent, as I said, in a 4-4-2, right back position, in a 4-2-3-1, in that CDM position, and obviously in a 4-4-2 in a centre mid position as well. But yeah, we're going to see how it goes. Hopefully, I can get a few long shots of this guy because I would love to see, a, you know, just a beautiful top bin finish from like 20-something yards out. But let's get into the games. So the first thing we are going to see is how he feels on a ball. Little ball roll there. Nice little turn. Ball roll once again. I mean, his dribbling is okay. It's not, you know, it's not up to up to the standards I would like it to be. But it's still definitely usable. Trent on the ball. I see an LBY. That could work all the way down here. Oh my god, look at that pass. Oh my god, look at that pass. X ball into the middle. Nah, I shouldn't have done that because obviously it's Neymar against Gomez. Neymar, Neymar's never going to win that. But what a pass by Trent. Through that middle, Trent's going to use that pace, trying to get in front of him. Well played. Good use of pace and really good tackle. I'm going to try to get a 1-2 going here. So let's see how fast he is at running down this line. Come on. Give us a rash with there. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Nice shielding. Good pass. Use that pace just to get down the line. That was not the greatest touch, I must admit. Trent tried to cover that. Is he going to pass up? Most likely he's going to pass up. Okay. Going to go for that interception, hopefully. Or the tackle when he puts in a very good tackle. Well played. Kind of want to go for a bridge here. Hold up a second. Right there. That's it. That's perfect. Ball roll. Double way into the middle. Sanchez at a very weird position. I didn't expect him to be in a striker position. I, I think I'm actually playing him there. Either way. Really nice bridge from obviously Trent round the corner. And it was a really good pass as well. Give him the ball here. Hopefully he can actually get it over Rashford. Well played. His strength is really coming to play right now. Little ball roll. Trying to fake shot that. Yeah, nice. Use that pace as well. Oh, that's not a foul. Really? That, that was, uh, for me, that's 100% a foul, by the way. There's no way that's not a foul. Going to try to give Trent a little run here. See if we get him in behind. Play that ball there. That's perfect. Ball roll. Nice shielding. That was very awkward shielding, to be fair. Ball roll again. 
Can we get a finish? Oh my god. I don't know how the keeper didn't come out for that, by the way. Like, usually the keeper just comes and collects that. But for some odd reason, they actually he actually stayed in the goal. Through that middle. Going to try pressure him right here. Oh, I knew he was going to turn. He's going to turn again. Yeah, there you go. Trying to get that interception. That's so unlucky. He's done well to obviously put in the tackle. It's just, you know, how FIFA is sometimes. The ball is going to always bounce there. First time pass all the way down. That's spot on. That even baited my opponent thinking he was actually going to get a ball. Mane to Trent. Nice acceleration. I'm going to go for it. This is a very... Oh my god. What I was going to say was that's an extremely hard angle, especially going away from goal. I'm honestly shocked the fact that that even hit the crossbar or post, whatever it hit. For me, it was going to go off target or even near the corner flag. The fact that it went on target is surprising. Once again, good tackle. <laughs> He's going to pass to the midfielder there. Yeah, readable. Come on, ref. Give that as a foul. Trent's done well. He's very aggressive. That's something I am also noticing. Very aggressive when obviously trying to get these interceptions and just going in for the ball. So if you are thinking of playing Trent in that CDM position, you can actually see he's positioning right here. Like he's so perfectly positioned. Just kind of just sitting in open spaces, waiting for the ball, giving me those passing options. He's not really a player that's going to run forward as long as you have him obviously on stay back while attacking. Like right there, he gave me the passing option once again. Obviously, I didn't take it. But it's a good thing to note that he does come forward a little bit. Still giving me the option to pass to him, but not too much for him to obviously make a run in behind the stuff. He's going to hit that middle. Where's he going to go for? Finesse shot? Yeah, kind of read it a little bit. Trent does put in a very good tackle once again. Kind of want to go forward with him right here. I still want that goal. I'm looking for it. Maybe another one too. Give it back to him. Oh, I'm dribbling. I like I'm going to pass it. Ah, the dribbling lets me down there. Because I need him to take a little bit of an extra touch there. So I can obviously give it back to, I believe it was Neymar. Neymar to Trent. I'm pushing him forward, by the way. That's why he's so high positioned. But... I'm trying to get that angle. Come on. There you go. Get this angle. Go for the finesse shot. And this time, it's actually going to go straight at the keeper. I really want a long shot with him. I want it to just rifle towards the top bins. Trent on the ball. Nice R1 dribbling. Let's try an LBY with the weaker foot. That's a really good pass. Like a really, really good pass. Maybe I can do an RBX now. Oh, no. Neymar was there. He definitely was there. And that was 100%. If the pass was better, that 100% was a goal. Decent dribbling. Kind of fake out my opponent, double ball roll to go in front of him. The ball sticks to his feet, I must admit. Like, he's a very hard person to actually tackle. But this is where he, this is what he does best when going forward. He's free kicks. This is what I want to see. 94 free kick accuracy. The guy is going to move the keeper slightly, which is always going to be a little bit of an issue. But I feel like if this ball hits like post and in, the keeper is not going to save it. So let me try to hit this post and in. Green timed. Is it going to hit posted in? It was a really good save. A really good save. But I don't think it was actually going to hit the post. Mbappe. Over to Trent. Nice turn. Little ball roll. Do you see his strength though? That's the most impressive thing about him. I went for a FIFA 19 tactic. Either way. Yeah, that's the most impressive thing about him. His strength. I was honestly expecting him to get body time to time. But he's actually doing the bodying. He is making sure that people know that he is there. Nice ball roll. Give it to Trent. Ball roll again. I'm going to take an ambitious finesse shot and Ariola is going to save it. In those kind of distances, I don't expect the ball to go in. Going to push forward here. Hopefully, I can get that interception. There you go. Good aggression. Pass all the way down. That's a nice pass. Ball roll. Scoop turn. Oh, through the legs as well. Referee. Oh, my God. That should not be a penalty. But I'll take it either way. We're going to take it with Trent and hopefully, we can obviously hit it top in. So, let's see. Select Trent. Where is he? I had to check if he was actually on the ball there. 67 penalties. Interesting. All right, let's take it. Come on. Go towards that top bins. Oh, he moved. Yeah, I was about to say, as soon as I see him move to the left, I know it's a guaranteed goal. Going to try pressure him. Oh, that was good by him, but obviously we didn't come out of the ball. Going to try to get that ball. <laughs> For me, that's a free kick, by the way. There's no way he's tackled him from the back and he actually ended up getting the ball first. Through the middle. Trent, no turn. Okay, that one's, a, that one's a free kick. I was about to say, surely you can't tackle from the back every single time and it's not a free kick. He's going to probably pass the Suarez here. Oh, no, he's going to pass into the middle. Let's see if we can obviously run back up. His transition speed, by the way, look at it. Just look at it. It's really, really nice. It's one of those players that you can obviously kind of commit a bit too much and obviously recover really fast. Can I go for a one, two? Come on, get him in behind. There you go. Get his pace going. No, come on. I need him to be a little bit faster there. Give him back the ball. Good R1 dribbling. Fakes around the corner. 
There you go. Bull roll inside. Finesse shot. Oh, come on. If he had the finesse shot trait, these chances most likely would be going in or at least challenging the keeper. But obviously, there's some of them that's just going to go over the bar. Need to cut that passing lane or at least press him a little bit. No turn. Oh, he does well to obviously pressure him, but he couldn't really get on the other side of him. He has to give it back to Suarez. Nice shielding while actually intercepting the ball. He's going to go through the middle. No, no goal. There you go. Well played. So it is time to review him. Two games played, a single goal scored of the zero assist as well. Now, it's kind of weird to see that because I would have thought I would have got the assist and not the goal because, you know, Trent with his passing ability is insane. So getting the assist is going to be fairly easy, but apparently I didn't actually get one. But a goal was a penalty. And that is so disappointing because I wanted to get a long shot with this guy so bad. I tried three shots to this guy. That was all I could get into, obviously, the angle for. And one hit crossbar slash post. The other one went straight at the keeper and the other one went over the bar. So disappointing not to actually get a goal with him. Either way, do I believe he is worth 1.7 million coins? No. And that's the first time I've said a team of the year player is not worth the amount of coins I've obviously picked him up for. And that's kind of a heartbreak because I was expecting Trent, I'm going to be honest, to be way, way better. But not just that. I feel like Trent is a player that can play the centre-back, right-back, CDM and centre-mid position, okay? But there are also other full-backs that can play those positions as well. I would actually say just as good. So for me to sit here and say 1.7 mil coins is worth the price, I would be lying to you guys. So how much do I actually believe he should be going for? 800k, 900k, 1 mil. For a team of the year trend, I feel like that's a reasonable price. 1.7 mil is a bit over the top for me personally. Do I believe he is worth, sorry, worth, sorry. Do I believe he is the best fullback in the game? No. Alfonso Davis still holds the crown. Either way, pace-wise, I'm going to give his pace, I would say, a 9.2 to a 9.3 out of 10. I felt like he was an insanely fast player. I just didn't feel like it was a player that, you know, would catch up to a Kylian Mbappe or a CR7 every single time. So you're still going to have that little bit where Trent does actually get outpaced. Shooting ability. As I said, we had three shots. We had one hit the crossbar slash post. We had another hit straight the keeper. And we got another that went over the bar. And I'm not going to sit here and be harsh and, you know, give him like a 7 overall just because of that. No, I'm still going to give him an 8.3 out of 10 for shooting because I feel like if I gave it a few more goes, I would have actually scored it. Obviously, if he had the finesse shot trait, it would have been easier. Passing ability. I can't be harsh when it comes to the passing. I really can't. For passing, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. I really am. His passing was insane. Like the LBYs, the ground passes, the normal wide balls, everything worked. So I can't really complain when it comes down to passing. Dribbling ability. At the start, I saw his dribbling ability and I thought to myself, wow, that's a little bit slow, no? But then I started seeing a few R1 dribbles come out, uh, come out uh, sorry, come out of nowhere. And I saw him kind of skip past a few players as well. So I thought to myself, his dribbling at isn't actually too bad. It's still not, you know, anywhere near Alfonso Davis's kind of level. So for dribbling, I'm going to give it, I'll probably say like a, an 8.7, 8.8 out of 10. Defending ability, really did enjoy it. Like, I really did. Loved how he went in for tackles. His slide tackling was... Uh, decent let's say obviously me giving up the penalty wasn't the greatest thing i love these defensive awareness and i really did love his interceptions so for defending i am going to give him i'll probably say like a 9.5 out of 10 physicality i'm actually surprised i'm honestly shocked if anything because of his strength i thought his strength was slightly still going to be a problem but it really wasn't he was bodying off players so for physicals i'm going to give him i'll probably say like a nine point mm. Probably a 9 out of 10. 9.1 out of 10. I don't want to over-exaggerate it, you know? I don't want to go to the point that I give him like a 9.6 because then I'll be lying to you guys. But an overall rating out of 10, I'm going to give this card, I'll probably say like a 9.3 to a 9.4 out of 10. As I said, it's a card that is good, but I don't feel like it's a card that is insane and I definitely do not do not feel like it's a card that's worth 1.7 million coins. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.